Come back to round four, or not round four, uh, round of eight in GPM. Playing against, uh, playing against Pipsqueak on blue white Ju Yu. Um, they, hmm, I don't know how I feel about this matchup. Definitely like being on the play. It's a pretty solid hand. Okay, not gonna mulligan this. Um, I think in general I'm looking to not have my opponent play Weeping Lotus on turn two, and otherwise it's a probably a pretty even matchup. Besides that. Um, I think I have a decent amount of counterplay, but if Weeping Lotus comes out in turn 2, I can't really, um, I don't think I can reasonably hope to overcome the mana differential. Very unexciting Gift of the Phoenix, um, which doesn't really leave me much to, I mean, two flatboats means that any kind of action I draw is good. Um, funny enough, I have left on Wayside to, like, answer Weeping Lotus, which is funny. Uh, it's not, like, I guess I'd probably do it, uh... Well, that makes me less want to do it. Huh. So, uh, I could play Coal Line here, I could play Flatboat. Um, decent chance whatever I play gets countered. I think I prefer the Coal Line to get countered over the Flatboat. Possible that's an error. I, I mean, there's also a chance that this just resolves. Um, in which case I'd probably for, for the Flatboat to come out. Huh. Um, let's just play the Coal Line. I imagine this is probably getting counted if they have a sinkhole. That's a resolve. So I'm gonna read that they probably don't have one. Um, so just passing makes it much more likely they do. But that does mean that I'm not really able to go off here because sinkhole for two gets me if, on my second spell. If I go like flat boat, force it through the sinkhole left on wayside, so the flying side gets counted, and I sit there. Oh, totally whimsy. Huh. It can actually go off through a sinkhole. I do just run into a journeys end or a E block. So I think I just go land. I'm willing to play it slow and just go flat boat pass. Flat boat resolves. Journeys end is the only thing that kills it. Um, I have the land, which makes me more inclined to play this slowly. Let's just pass. Oh, wait, the core line. Uh... Can't do anything about that. Thought I had the rail line out. I guess at least that's not taking the rail line something, but I will be put in the same situation next time, which would be annoying. Um I guess I do have like a little bit more power, but I do need to really think about how I wanna play this whimsy. Like it's it's this is really awkward because I need like flat boat to copy whimsy, which means needs me to play the land, but then whimsy's bad and flat boat dies and dead and whatnot. Um, I think I'm actually kind of inclined to just go land pass here. I don't think there's any real benefit to trying to go off again. Like, they, they have plenty of mana uh, to do whatever the hell they want. And one of the things that is a bit more abusable about you sell decks is they don't have any instant speed uh, proactive plays. No ready for anything like, anything like that. So them just sitting around does mean that they aren't being the most proactive. Uh, hot does make me kind of spook, though. So, uh, I guess I'll go flat boat, call this is Whimsy. Is that right? And then if Whimsy gets countered, then I flat boat copy it. Which is kind of weird, because I don't have that many good plays off it, because I only have one mana left after that. Um, I guess I could also flat boat left on the wayside, but then Whimsy runs into a counter. Uh, I mean, I could just sit here again. Like, the only thing they can do that's proactive is just, like, play out a cast out. I mean, I guess they have Amitai in the next turn, which is obnoxious. Um, because uh, Amitai minus one makes me sad. But if I do hit another Unceasing Flames, I'm actually okay. I think I just, I just, uh, I don't know. This is all very weird. I'm just gonna go Mountain Pass and not think too, too hard about it. Um... I do kind of need them to, like, have some amount of mana to, like, do anything meaningful. Kind of sucks. Definitely not the place that you want to be in the combo deck. I, mean, I have hit my land drops, which is good, but I'm not continuing to hit my land drops. So, I think I'm obligated to do stuff here. Just fine, because if Whimsy is countered, then I can Chaos. Um, if Flatboat is countered, I'll reassess then, I guess. So, let's Flatboat. I think every single, I think all my plays stem from Flatboat, unless if I wanted to do like a 
with raw whimsy seems mediocre. Web resolves. So left on the wayside as priority, I think is the play. I'm not thinking too hard about I follow up, I'm just they don't have any concrete lines. I think this is kind of a bit of a value turn. And if it gets farther than that, then I'm happy. Um I guess the immediate follow up would be chaos second most escalate ones, maybe? E block. Huh. Um so I could flat boat the left on the wayside, which would be, which nuts me a mana. I don't, hmm. The mana is pretty nice here, but they haven't killed the flatboat yet, which, something. Um, I guess I'm going to presume that the flatboat is going to get taken off the board, so I think I am going to copy this, or attempt to at least. Just another counter? Yeah. Oh, it's kind of stale, that's fine. Um, and here I just ask. I don't think playing Gwimsy for a good attempt for land is worth it. And a need on Ceasing Flames to answer, potentially answer Amentai, so. It is nice to know that Chaos does hit walkers, so Unceasing Flames plus Chaos will kill a downtick to Amentai. Because Amentai is a pretty annoying hard to combo into because it stops a lot of my. The ways I make progress with Ozin or Creativity or Emily Main. Stops while hopping in Rene as well. So that's, that's an important one. I think it also stopped my real line, which is also annoying. But I have made some amount of progress here, because the artisan will force them to spend some amount of mana to deal with it. Happy to see a Juyu. That's happy to see Sinkle, but I do take the Sinkle. Um, but still have artisan in play, so... And Weeping Lotus Path. So three mana. I don't have three cards to... Mountain. Mountain's not a very good draw here. So, I could Chaos or six cards? No, uh, four cards. Need to keep two men up for the single. So, let's go Whimsy. Start off with. Okay, so that's the resolves. Coal line bar hopping. So, pretty happy to see coal line. Um, bar hopping seems really bad if I, get, if I can't win this turn, so coal line. So, two Swarf Swedes, Gift and Sizzle Mage. Um, I imagine Sizzle Mage is the play here. I have a land drop left, so I only really have one, eight, like, um, useless mountain. Getting another Whimsy is nice, um, because this Whimsy does brick on Sorcery. Um, so, let's go ahead and cast that. Flatboat Chaos. Oh, so I have six mana here, I need to get three out for a potential sinkhole. Um, so, in this kind of bricks, the second flat boat isn't that helpful. Um, I did see Setting Sun go to the bottom, as well as Mary actually, so the second flat boat does give me some insulation against, uh, card removal. Um, so I guess playing Chaos is pretty free. Gets me two more cards, so I guess let's do that instead of playing the flat boat. Um, I, I just don't have the mana to afford the flat, uh, two mana to do nothing. Um, Mountain's nice. Only main is also nice. Um, oh, I mean, this it's impossible, but I don't know what my breakpoints are either. <laughs> um, cool. Some wayside alley main are basically ideal. So let's left the wayside second mode. So need to uh, keep up three mana of the sinkhole, which should be pretty doable. Um, I guess I go matter which main I play. I guess I play main off. I mean, but I'm playing both eventually. Uh, I guess I'll play this one first. Uh, discarding two lands. Creativity is, uh... Huh. Um, how do I do this most easily? I guess I go creativity main from hand? Uh, I guess I chaos for... I guess it's probably easiest to go chaos for second mode three times. Uh... I guess at this point I should probably start on Ceasing Flames Inc, which I, I guess I do it like this. Um, um, okay, what's the, the line? Bounce of land. Uh, so I have uh, nothing for this matchup, I think. I guess I'll Tazan, maybe. Uh, Barton. I guess I need to have an answer to Barton, at least. Maybe want some Flames approaches. Maybe. Uh, I mean, Gratlis seems really bad. Uh, 
I guess like my spell hopping is kind of untrustworthy. It can bring, can bring an idle Tazan because it's a clean answer to a uh, boss and forces some pressure. Um, makes them have to respect their life to a little bit. Uh, fortunately for me, they don't have any kind of uh, sideboard cards I need to be too worried about. Uh, Barton's only one that's super significant. Uh, maybe a Sunder history, but I don't really care about that in terms of going off. So. Um, this seems like a pretty good hand. Keep it. A bit low, low on lands than I'd like in this matchup. Um, I think game one was a good example of how King of Land drops it is really nice in combo decks when Sinkhole was such a good card. Uh, we'll be on the draw though, so. Let's them um, do stuff like this. And gives them plenty of time to go do you and sink all my life's work and the sink all. Um, I get the uh, privilege of playing into a face up sink all. Uh, get the phoenix is good. I will a gift to spot unceasing flames. So I guess I, I guess I actually need unceasing flames to answer Barton if that comes down to him too. So I'll discard a fizzle mage, I think. Um, a chaos. I think I just got a sizzle mage. Uh, very happy to see a mountain there. Flimsy makes me regret a little bit discarding the chaos, but not a big deal. So if Barton comes down here, wait, see what? White, devil on white, seek prophecy? Not sure about that sequence because that puts them off of sinkhole. Oh, sorry, and in, right? Does not put them off sinkhole. Um, so I need to decide how to accept my fate here. Uh, which is, uh, crying in a corner and letting my flatboat be countered, I think. I have other options. Not really. I could wait, but I do have an additional land to do stuff with. I mean, flatboat is so important for this hand. Um, but I might actually just have to wait, which is very annoying. Uh, yeah, I think flatboat is important enough that I just have to wait. They put on the hand, um... I took a Monument of Queens, so I'm just going to run up that boat and let it get countered. And then it'll save them a life there. Aha, uh -huh, the Grift of Lotus Bands. My genius mana base. Creativity. Uh, sure, why not? Not going to turn down creativity. Oh, the horror. I guess that they are just kind of hitting the land drops and passing, which is good. The journey is not good. I might even call that very bad. Um, full line. Uh, I think I just throw a whimsy here. I'd hit some value, maybe. Um, yeah. I have two and the chaos, so plenty of, uh, stuff. Block is fine. Um, the coal line, mountain, and pass. Unceasing flames doesn't really do anything here. I don't want to fill my deck with unceasing flames. And they're at 21 with their journey in play. Uh, I will have to consider what they, what to do if they zero here. Um, hmm. I think I say no to a zero. Seems wrong to give my opponent more cards when they control deck on one card in hand. Yeah, they're not even offering me the choice, though. So. Six mana, Mary. Wait, they left in Mary? Oh, interesting. I would not have expected them to leave in Mary. So now I get to potentially get a really cool play. Uh, double culminating chaos. With culminating chaos. Huh. So I can chaos get the Jani down to two, clear the Mary and the Angel. Um,. Or I can whimsy. Like, uh, next, I I should be able to chaos and clear the Mary and Angel next turn, too. So I think I'm going to whimsy. Um, see if I can hit a land, maybe. Flatboat, something along those lines. Um, maybe this is greedy, but if I go Sizzle Mage Chaos, then I have my hand against a Johnny, which doesn't feel great. It maybe just doesn't do much here that I'm super concerned about. That's a whimsy chaos mountain. They have to see a mountain there. Unceasing flames chaos. Uh, now I get. I think I unceasing flames here. Unceasing flames the Johnny probably. Chaos doesn't really do all that much. Yeah, hit a Johnny down to four. I think. Creativity mountain. Like unceasing flames is. Um. So I was going unceasing flames the Mary, but. I think I just play at creativity here. Go sizzle mage creativity. Hmm. Does brick do cards? Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go sizzle mage creativity here. And go off my gut. Only thing I can hit here off the whimsy is a rare line, which would be nice, which I don't hit. Um, but I don't think 
just too bad of a spawn. Got a, crit, got a creativity in play, got a land in play. Definitely don't mind my decision to uh, do that over just chaos. We'll see if they Ajani zero or not. I think they're not. But it does mean that Ajani is Barton. The uh, Barton's a bit annoying. Well, actually, Barton's fine, because I can just... Uh, I guess not. Uh, I need to land here. Do chaos for a four flat boat. If I die next turn, not quite. So I'm seizing flames of shame for three. Um, chaos costs four. I think I always lead on flat boat here. That boat counters or interacts the bottom cost increase. Um, god, not doing land though is not annoying. That does mean that I have to go up on the following turn, regardless. Uh, four. Yeah, chaos just doesn't do anything here. I mean, I guess if I hit something on the top, it does something. But that's true, regardless. Emily main. Okay. Um, so Emily does give me a way to do this. Uh, Devin. I think I just got on Ceasing Flames because I need to go off next turn. Um, because if they activate Monument Queens, I'll, I will die on the following turn. So, go uh, discard, got on Ceasing Flames. And, yes. Oh, I guess Chaos Waking the Board does, uh, kill my flat boat too, huh? Six. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, Barton was a really nasty draw there. Um,. I just need if I get anything off the creativity to go off main, then also I also can't cast that. Though I, I guess if I hit a land, I can. Uh, I'm definitely saying no to a zero here, my journey, and I'm yeah, I'm just taking eleven here because I I don't even know if I can go off with this flat boat. Definitely can't without. Yep, I'm gonna target some Mary. I guess they didn't attack with the monument queens, which might be a bad sign if they do something. Um. They didn't. Oh, well, they're just holding something up if they did. Okay, I guess that's been it. That is not good. Um, so let's go. Don't have much to do here besides just play main. I guess I can culminate in Chaos for Escalade X2. Oh wait, no I can't. Uh, I only have 6. I need 7 because the that boat bought in bounce. If I had a land, I can. Other main. Huh. Uh, I guess I just got gift here. Um, I guess I just go minus three. They always go minus three here. And then I main again. I'm making some progress here. Because now I can pay for the bottom if I hit something. Um, I can cast the venture off this, right? If that card has less amount of value. Okay, so I've successfully gotten somewhere. Is good. Um, so nine. So I guess I just go for it. Um, what? So I go up to 9 mana, and then if I discard a, what, a chaos and just flat boat it? Um, yeah, I just, I just have to go for this, right? Uh, I go chaos, um, I guess they were on the creativity, but whatever. Um, like they didn't actually have anything, which, interesting. Um, and then I get 12 cards here. I guess six twice, technically speaking, but... Okay, um, two mains, XL most of the mountains. Oh, I hit a ton of cool lines. Um, and at this point I should be good to... Oh, hold on, no. I, I, I need to remember that Barton is in play. Um, so I guess I go flat boat again. All right. And then I guess I go chaos again. Six. If the phoenix, I don't cast, because I can't, this, two, and, um, I guess, uh, uh, I took the amount of effort, so my opponent not having anything in game two was a bit surprising. I, I guess the logic is they brought the Captain Mary for creativity, potentially. Makes some amount of sense. Oh, do they decide a weeping lotus in hand? I'm surprised they didn't. Zero Johnny. Oh, happening in game one. Yeah, they just had a cast out. Oh. Yes, they just had a very awkward amount of values. Um, they probably f it might be fine if they just had cast out of the flat boat, but I definitely understand that it's not not very comfortable doing that. Um, but that is bro that does probably make it hard for me to combo then going for a single for three. 
Yeah, I guess just slightly awkward draws on their part. But thanks for watching and be back for top four.